Hey, good morning. Happy Friday, friends. I am ready to get going over here on my end for our 9.30 Friday workout. Um, let me go ahead and let you know what to expect and what you need. You just need a mat today. Um, our Friday workout today does not require any weights. Uh, we will have a cardio um, series at the beginning that's gonna be a Tabata style cardio. In Tabata style cardio, we work for 20 seconds all out, that burst of energy, then you have a 10 second break. 2010 is the pattern for seven exercises. So we're going for three and a half minutes at a time. Then from there, we're gonna take a longer break as we end that three and a half minutes and do that exact cardio Tabata round one more time. So a total of two times through on that cardio to get us started. And then just like our Fridays have been, we go into that active recovery. So after we get that cardio out of the way, get that heart rate going, get that sweat starting, get that uh, breathless feeling, after that we, um, are gonna take it into our more active recovery. So we've got a standing yoga series, yoga Pilates kind of meshed together um, from standing to plank position. That's gonna lead us um, into some more core work that we're gonna do from tabletop position and then from our back. We end on that Pilates leg circuit. I've done that one a couple of times in our virtual boot camp. Always a good way to finish off our Friday workouts together. So. I'm gonna give it just a couple minutes here. I am just a little bit early this morning. If you are ready, hey Sam, I see you on, girl. How you feeling? I got my notes here and I'll be ready to go here in just a bit. We are gonna start in our warm up. Stepping back here in just a bit. Let me get timer going. All right, you guys. If you are on, ready to go, go ahead and join me here. We're gonna take it into that warm up, the same warm up that we've done all week except for yesterday, starting with that torso twist. Elbows go wide, twisting around. You got eight, and six, five, four. We start our jacks in two and one. Here we go, jack it out. We're gonna to turn to the right for that around the world in three, two, and one. To the right for four, three, two, and one, again, for four, three, two, and one, turn right, four, three, two, to the front, and one, here we go, last four, three, we squat in two, and one, here we go, down and up in those bodyweight squats, nice and slow here, setting those hips back, bending at the knees, keeping that chest lifted, we start that reach over in two, and one, here we go, elbows to knees, up into that side body stretch, reaching, We're gonna take those arm circles, big arm circles forward. In five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, open that chest, reach around, big circles for eight, seven, six, five, four, take it back in two, and one. Just reverse direction of those shoulders, reaching back and around, open chest. You got six, in five, get ready to come down for that dead bug. In three, two, and one. Here we go, down to your mat, on your back. Arms up, knees are up, shins are in tabletop. One leg extends and the opposite arm reaches out. This is that dead bug. This is an exercise that we've done a few times in our strength rounds where we add weights to it. So this is one, if this is one that you really like, you can do this one on your own too. Just grab yourself some dumbbells or some water bottles and add some weights in those hands to give yourself more resistance on that pull. You got eight, seven, six, in five. We turn this over for that plank hold. In three, two, and one. Come on up. Meet me in plank today. It is a 40 second hold. On the hands, on the toes, come on up. Here we go, 40 seconds beginning now. Think about keeping one straight line. I think I mentioned that every time we do plank. Pressing those shoulders down and away. Pushing into those palms. Keeping that back flat. Engaging down the quads, up the backs of the legs into those hamstrings and glutes, and then of course, that core. All engaged nice and tight. You have 15 seconds left. 
in this 40 second plank hold. If you absolutely have to, come down to those knees, feel free, but only if you have to. Final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, yes you guys. That's our warm up, Woo. As we usually do on Fridays, cardio is about to start. Okay, so we have a quick cardio round. It's 20 second cardio burst Tabata style, 20 on, 10 off. We go through that pattern, that series for a total of seven moves, so three and a half minutes, 20 on, 10 off. That'll be our cardio today. We have two rounds of this exact same cardio effort. Go ahead and come up to standing with me. Our cardio is gonna begin in 12 seconds. It's gonna start with a jog in place. Your chest stays lifted, hips underneath that chest core tight, and try to kick those heels up to the booty. Meet me in your jog in four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, our three and a half minutes of cardio begins now. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. In this jog, really think about keeping those knees pointed down and those heels up to the booty. We got seven, six, five, four, a 10 second break in three, two, one. All right, from here, next cardio exercise. Two narrow hops to one squat reach down. We go in five, four, start with that double narrow hop in two and one. Hop, hop, reach, there it is, hop, hop, reach. You got 12, keep that chest lifted. Lie down the balls of your feet. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to standing, 10 seconds. You're gonna step back into a reverse lunge with your right foot. Then from that reverse lunge, your right foot kicks up. We go in four, three, reverse lunge, kick two, and one, reverse lunge, kick that right foot. Now go straight back into that lunge on the right. Just the right foot stepping back for the lunge. You got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. Same exercise. Other side. Left toe steps back. Reverse lunge kick in four, three, two, and one. Left toe back. Left leg kick straight into it. Now, if you need to tap down in between, that's okay. Or you can make it more of a challenge to that balance just by taking it straight back into the lunge. You've got eight, seven, whoo, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds. Now we go into ski hops. You're gonna jump up and over, up and over at the diagonal, beginning in four, three, ski hops, two, and one. Here we go. Up and over. Find a line or make an imaginary line. You're jumping up and over, hitting that diagonal with the hips and booty. You got eight, seven, six, in five, four, three, two, and one. During your 10 second break, now come down to your mat, bicycle pedal crunches in five, four, three, two, one. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Quicker here for this cardio effort. 12. Eight. Here's four, three, two, and one. Seven exercise in this Tabata round. Push-ups from the toes or the knees, your choice. We start those push-ups in four, three, two, and one. I'm on my knees. So I can focus a little bit more on speed. Down, up, down, up. 12. You got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Woo. There it is. That was our cardio effort. We do it one more time, then we're moving on the rest of the workout will be active recovery. In 25 seconds, come on up and let's do it again. Grab your water, breathe here. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That's all you have to think about. One 20 second interval, 20 seconds at a time. We start in that jog in 10. Here we go. 
in five, four, jog, three, two, one. In this jog, knees down, heels up. See if you can take that jog a little bit faster than you did last time. We go into that 10 second break in eight. You got five, four, three, two, and one. 10 second break, narrow, narrow, hop to that wide squat, reach down. Begins in five, four, three, two, one. It's hop, hop, reach. Hop, hop, reach. Good, you guys, so good. Hang in there, 12 seconds. Eight. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds. Reverse lunge, stepping back with the right foot. Then that right leg comes up to kick in five. Reverse lunge, kick on the right. Right toe stepping back, three, two, one. Right foot back, right leg kick straight into that lunge. Back and kick. Like I said, if you need to add that tap between your next lunge, totally okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe. Ten. Reverse lunge kick to the other side. Left foot stepping back in five. Whew, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Left toe back, left leg kick. From here, we have three moves left and we are done with cardio, you guys. Stay with it, stay with it. Seven, six, five, four, ten second break in three, two, one, 10 seconds, we go that diagonal ski hop. Find your line, up and over in five, four, three, ski hop, two, and one, up and over. That half twist, up and over. Push that booty back, keep those knees bent, light hops. We got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bicycle pedal crunches, come on down. We go in seven, six, five, four. Pedal it out in three, two, one. Need the elbow, cross the body, reach it up and over. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, roll it over, push ups. Last one. We go in five, four, three, push two, and one. Right here, last 20 second effort. Down and up. Take those elbows wide, drop the chest. 10. Breathe through, breathe through. You got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, take it back to a child's pose. Hold that child's pose stretch for me just a little bit here. Nice breather. Whew. Good news. Cardio is done. <laughs> done not only for the day, but for the week. <laughs> we go into our active recovery. Pilates yoga blend style series coming up next. So go ahead and grab your water. Let that heart rate come down. I'm gonna talk you through what we've got. So we're gonna start in standing position. That's gonna include some forward fold, half lift, pedaling out those knees from the forward fold. From there, we're gonna walk it out to plank. Now we're gonna go through this series a total of three times and when we get down to that plank, we have a little different challenge from that plank position each time we go through the series. So if you will, go ahead and step back to the narrow side of your mat. Take a nice deep breath. Here we go. You're going to bend those knees. You're going to reach those arms out. You're going to take this down to a forward fold all the way down, reaching to the toes. Tuck the chin. Take the top of your head down toward your mat. Hold. Bring it back up. Reverse on right up. Now this time only halfway down. Fingertips reach out to the side, back is flat, good. Now from this half hold, you should really be feeling that stretch down the backs of your legs. 
If you're not, shift your body weight back into your heels a little bit more and focus on pushing your butt back. Now from here, we're gonna pedal out just like we do from down dog. Sometimes we do this in plank. In your pedal, add a little pulse there. One, two, one, two. You got eight, seven, six, five, in four. Here's three, two, and one. Both heels are down, reach up, reverse swine dive. This time coming all the way down into that forward fold. Now from here, take it to that walkout. Meet me in that plank position. Our first challenge from plank is a series of wide knee pulls. Reaching that knee out wide in three, two, one. Knee goes wide, switch. Other side, knee goes wide. Switch. Wide knee pulls from plank. So good, you guys stay with this. We got it, another 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Holding plank in four, three, two, and one. Holding plank, now from here, you're gonna take that left foot, you're gonna step it through the hands. From here, you're gonna reach up and dip that right knee into that lunge. Dip the lunge, hands come back down, step back, step forward right, reach up and dip that back knee. So you're alternating that plank to lunge, reach. Stay with me here. Up and reach. The chest comes up straight over those hips. Keep the core tight, reach those fingertips to the ceiling. You got 10. In five, four, meet me in plank. In three, two, and one. Take it to plank, hold, good, breathe. Start to walk those hands back in. Three, two, and one. Hands walk in. Here we go. From the top, reverse one dive up for that reach. Take it all the way down into forward fold. Hold, hold, breathe, breathe. Tuck the chin, feel the stretch. Reverse one dive up. This time, take it into half fold. Fingertips reaching out, good, hold here. We pedal those knees, bring those hands into the bent knee in three, two, and one. Bend the knee, lift the heel, and switch. Still hinging forward, chest is down toward that mat. You're pulsing out those heels and knees. You got seven, six, five, and four from here. In three, swan dive, in two, and one. Take it down, reach it up. All the way down to that forward fold this time. Hold, hold, breathe, breathe. We walk this out in three to plank in two and one. Walk it out, give me that plank. From here, our next challenge is those knees pulling in and across to the opposite elbow in three, two, and one. Knee pulls across, alternate across. How you feeling, guys? Hang in there with me right here. We got this. Knee pulls in and across. A slight twist to get that knee over to that angle. We've got 10, we're out from here. We're gonna hold plank and we go into that same step through, lunge and reach. Same one, just like we did in the last series. In three, hold plank first, two, and one, give me that plank, hold. Here we go, get ready, step through, reach and lunge. Three, two, one, foot steps through, hands come up, back knee dips. Back down, step back to plank and switch. Step through, reach and lunge. Down and back, step through, Reach and lunge. Up with that reach, who's dripping sweat? Woo! Now sometimes here I will hold my fingertips. You might see here my fingertips are more on my mat than my whole hand. That gives just a little extra space for that knee to come in and under. One more. Reach it up, meet me in plank in three, two, one. Knee in plank, hold, hold. Breathe, breathe, we walk those hands in. Three, two, one, walk those hands in. Up, reverse one dive. Here we go. Take it down, forward fold. Our last series through here, you guys, our last one, forward fold, hold. Tuck the chin. Reverse one dive, bring it up. Take it down to that half fold. Fingertips reaching out, chest forward, hips back, hold. From here we start to pedal those knees, those hands come in. Three, two, one, one knee bends, and switch. Breathe with it, one, and two. One, and two, here's six, 
five, four, swan dive in three, two, and one. Both heels down, reverse swan dive up. Take it all the way down into that forward fold. All right, our last challenging series from plank. We walk this out in four, three, two, and one. Walk it out. Now this time on those knee pulls, those knees are gonna come into the same elbow. Three, two, one. Bring it over to the same side, right to that elbow. You know it's coming from here. Plank, step through lunge to reach. Last time we do it. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, in five, four, here's three, two, and one. Right here, step through, reach and lunge. Woo! Take it down, step back, and switch. Good, you guys, so good here, so good, you got this. Reach and lunge, dip that back knee. Reach down to plank, and switch. Four more. Down and back, three more. Whew. My sweat is flinging everywhere. Two more. One more, step through. Reach down to plank, step back, hold 10, nine, eight, seven. Walk the hands in five, four, three, two, and one. Walk those hands in. Reverse swan dive, reach it up and out. Whew. Release those arms down and breathe. Nice, you guys. Whew. Good work through that series. How you feeling? We're gonna bring this into our tabletop position. A little less intensity now. Tabletop position on those hands, on those knees. I'm gonna try to scoot back a little bit so I'm in frame. So go ahead and meet me in tabletop on your mat. Here we go. So from tabletop here, we're gonna roll through our cat cow. We do this a lot. Cat cow flow, raise that mid spine up, and then just the opposite inversion. Take that mid spine down and push the booty back and chest forward. On that cat position, it should feel like you're kind of crunching in, lifting, lifting between the shoulders, tucking the chin and tucking those hips. Then in cow, like I said, just the opposite. We hold that back flat in tabletop in four, three, two, and one. Now from here, we're gonna extend out that left leg. We're gonna extend out that right arm. You're gonna hold both up. Just hold, just breathe for eight. Now that right arm is not gonna move. But the left leg is going to start a bend and an extension from the knee. Bend that heel into the booty in four, three, two, and one. Right arm stays exactly what it's doing. But now that left leg is going to bend in and then extend back out. Try to hold that knee lifted. When you're bending that heel in, you're not bending it in or bringing it in by letting the knee drop down. The knee stays elevated right at the hip. The entire body's facing down. You got six five, four, hold a 90 degree angle in that left knee bend in three, two, and one. Hold that 90 degree, good. Now from here, just the knee comes down. It levels up with the right knee, and then we kick it right back up to that 90 degree angle, right where that knee comes level to the back of that booty, right at the hip. Right arm is still extended. You got a little pressure over here in that left shoulder. That's okay, push down into it. Press that left palm down. Good, keep the shoulder away from your ear, long neck, you got six. In five, we hold it up, four, three, two, and one, hold it, hold it. Now we pulse, eight, seven, six, five, switching in four, three, two, and one. Yes, ring it down, Woo! roll those shoulders if you need to. We do the exact same series, but on the other side, left arm, right leg. It starts with that full extension hold. You got eight, seven, Six, meet me in this hold if you haven't yet. Five, four, holding that left arm up. Right knee bends, three, two, and one. Right knee bends in and out. Take it slow, take it slow. In, who else is just absolutely dripping sweat over here? Whoo! In and out, bend and extend. Conscious effort to keep that knee lifted. You got six, five, Four, we hold that right knee bent 90 degrees in three, two, and one. Bring it into that 90, bring it into that 90 from here. Knee comes down, three, two, and one. Try not to slouch into that back. Try not to lean over into that left side. Everything all squared, all centered. Knee comes down, 
and then we kick it right back up. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, take it up, hold, two, and one, take it up, hold. Good, 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 getting those pulses, three, two, and one. Make sure everything's engaged, everything's activated. Stretch that body out, reach those left fingertips, six, five, four, bring it down, child's pose, in two, and one. Oh, take it back. Good news is we are coming off those shoulders for good. Woo, oh my God. <sighs> take it over to your back now. Wow, you guys, wow. Okay, to your back. Knees are gonna come up over those hips. Here's what we've got. You're gonna take those arms out wide. You're gonna reach up overhead, let those fingertips meet. I know you can't see mine, they're out of frame. And then from here, you're gonna lift the head, neck, and shoulders and try to bring those fingertips together underneath your heels, just behind your booty. So you relax the head, neck, and shoulders down and back as you reach up, and then you crunch and bring those fingertips together. Start now if you haven't yet. Reach out and crunch. Nice and slow here, you guys, nice and slow. Chest stays open, lifted, breathe with it. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold it up, two, and one. Hold it, hold it, get here, get here, hold. Now from here, pulse those palms in, like you're trying to bring those fingertips into meat. Good. If your thighs weren't there, they would be me meeting. You got eight, seven, six, five. We go to those bent knee pulses. Three, two, one. Bent knee pulses. One in and one out. Head, neck, and shoulders can relax. In fact, let it relax here for just a little bit so that your neck doesn't tighten up, tense up too much. If you're either in a core series from your back and you start to feel really tight through the neck, just release your chest and shoulders down for a little bit and that will let that neck relax. Then once you're ready, you can come right back up. You got 10, nine, the only thing that will change, legs are straight. In five, four straight legs, in three, in two, and one, legs straight, it's up, reach behind that calf. Head, neck and shoulders stay up as long as you can keep them there. If you need that relaxation, if you need to loosen up, go ahead and take it down. Come back up when you can. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna release right here. Bring those hands underneath the booty. I like to take mine right to the booty and put those palms down. So just a little support for that lower spine. We're gonna start with those legs extended, the head, neck, and shoulders up. This is your boat position. Hold. In eight, we surf those flutter kicks up and down. Five, four, flutter kick. Three, two, and one, flutter kicking. Ten, nine, eight, seven, relax. And six, five, relax down. Four, three, two, and one. Everything down for five. We come back up into that boat hold. In three, two, one. Up for eight, seven, six, five, flutter kick. Four, Three, two, and one. Flutter kick, flutter kick right here. You got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Down five. You got one more time through there. Come up. Three, two, and one. Lift, hold, squeeze. Eight, seven. Point those toes. Engage down the quad. Squeeze the abs. Five, four, flutter kicking. Three, two, and one for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Ah! From here, roll over to your side. It doesn't matter which side. You're gonna support your head and your hand over here on this side. Take that top leg. You're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're so close, you guys. Up and down. You've got 10, nine, eight. We're gonna take that top leg and hold it up in five, four, hold it up in three, two, and one. So now on this hold, it's right about that 45 degree angle, okay? I don't want it so high here. Take it down where it's almost just above level to that hip. Hold here, hold here. We pulse it up, two, down, two, three, two, and one. Up and down, up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Hold again, same place. Three, two, one. Hold it, hold it, same place. Now from here, draw tiny circles with your pointed toe. Tiny circles forward, eight, 
seven, six, five, four. Circle back, other way in two and one. Circle back, eight, seven, six. Feel the burn, five, four. Let that leg come down in three, two, one. That leg comes down. Now from here, you're gonna pulse it forward and kick it back. Straight leg pulses forward and back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that foot down on top of the bottom, roll it over, other side. Exactly what we just did from that side leg series. Support your head. We start with that lift, top leg lifts. Three, two, one, up and down. Lift with control, release with control. Up and down, you got eight, seven, six, we take it up to that half hold in four, three, two, and one. Right to about that half hold, stay here, breathe, stay here, breathe. Tiny pulses in three, two, and one, right from here. Up and down, up and down, eight, seven, six, five. We circle it forward in three, two, and one. With the pointed toe, draw those circles forward, seven, six, five, four. We circle back in three, two, and one, big circles back, big circles back. You got it, eight, not too big, sorry. Six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Let that leg come down now from here. Forward kicking pulse, straight leg. Three, two, one, we kick it forward for two and straight back for two, good. So you're centered right at those hips, your top hip just above the bottom, okay? Try not to let those hips move on your kick. You've got five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring those feet together. Come up to seated position. Oh, hello. How you feeling, y'all? We are right at that 30 minute mark. Let's take it to that roll down right here. Reaching outside the feet, reaching up. Tuck those elbows in, get ready, roll down. And up. Bring those elbows in one more this way. Roll it down, reach out. Up, elongate through the torso, just hold, just hold. We're going down to the feet first, reversing direction of that circle in three, two, and one. Reach down and out, pull in. Up, 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 reach down and out. Pull in. One more, reach up, roll down. Pull in. Reach up, hold that elongated torso. Reach, stretch, don't shrug those shoulders. We release those hands down in front of the heart. Prayer position in three, two, and one, bring it down and in. Yes, you guys, we are done. I hope you have an amazing Friday. I hope you enjoyed that workout. A little bit of active recovery, but still working hard through it. You had a week of awesome workouts with me. Be proud of yourself for accomplishing what you have this week, maybe even just today. Whatever you have done this week, hey, as long as you are challenging yourself, pushing yourself, and getting through this, set yourself up for success way to get it done this week today. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all very soon. Have a happy Friday and a great weekend, friends.